Um, so this video is going to introduce how to um, analyze a portal frame in Space Gods. Um, firstly, we establish new. Okay, so um, now we create the pod frame, a 2D pod frame in the structure with it. The axis is here. This one, pod frame. Okay, so now you can intuitively see the geometry here. Um, in our case, okay, just I could give it a random number. Um, the length, the HC, which is the height of the column five and we don't as we have some angles here we'll make it two okay um and it supports means the supports on the left and supports on the right uh just given bank history on both sides okay so now it's done um the next problem the next thing that we're going to do is to um define the um the node restraints or check it so you can't just data data sheets here uh the node restraints are here just try to um inspect it okay so um i think they are restrained and now we apply the moment distributive force to it uh, before that, we need to figure out what are the member numbers. So this one is the member one. This one is the number two. This one is the member three. And this one is member four. So just try to keep that in mind. And we're going to define the member distribute load. Uh, let's call it case, um, load case one. And this force is going to be applied on member one, which which is the column on the left. Um, see the axis coordinate here, the coordinate axis here. Um, so we're going to define the wind load, let's say from left to right, that is the positive x direction. Therefore, you insert um, the 10 kilonewton per meter here, will automatically change the 10 meters uh, it will automatically change to 10 kilonewtons per meter as well uh, at the end of it. That means that is really uniform distributed. Uh, I'm gonna also um, play some uh, something on member two, which is that inclined beam. Um, um, here you wanna, because in our case we have different section of the beam subject to different magnitude of the load therefore uh, we're going to define a we're going to define it, it in like a sequence so you can say okay member in a member two we define the start position from zero meters um and you can change the meters of percentage in here like this is the actual, so that means meter and the percentage means really percentage, okay? Um, you wanna finish it, finish it at 20% or 30%, okay? Um, and in this case, you wanna define the start Y force in the negative Y axis direction. So you're gonna insert negative 20. And this will automatically change to negative 20 here. Um, and also you continue your thing. The only difference is that on member two, you wanna define the second load. So you wanna change the load into sub load, name it the second load, okay? Um, and then it starts from the 20%, from 30%, respond to here, you know, so um, let's say 50%, okay? Um, again, it's the negative force, the negative force. I'm just gonna stop here and let's let's see how the load is exerted on the pod frame. Okay see this is perfectly defined and um, actually well I don't know why the force is you know vertically here it should be perpendicular to the beam 
Let's figure out how to change it. Hmm. Ah, you can change it to local axis. That means the axis of the um, um, of the member itself. Well, let's see. Ah, see. So you want to change it to to the local to local, um, and that's that's perpendicular to that to that beam. Um, the next thing you want to do is to analyze it. So you click on linear static analyze analysis, which generally tells you you're going to perform the elastic analysis. Done. No bug. Just wait a minute. It doesn't respond to me. Okay, it's done. So we can cancel this show load. And then we show the bending moment diagram. Here you can intuitively see where the maximum moment is. Um, so I guess it's here. Uh, negative 94.7 kilonewton meters. Uh, and also if you want to see the shear force, you can simply click on this one. And you can just visualize where's the maximum shear force. I guess it's here. Okay. Um, so re you repeat this case for multiple times and, until you find the um, the maximum or the critical bending moment. Done.